the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in uh, today's uh, gospel, we read and you heard about uh, the appearance of our Lord after he had uh, risen from uh, the dead. So dito ay binigyan ng patutuo ng ating Panginoon ay uh, nabuhay na maguli. This is very important uh, because if uh, Jesus Christ had not risen from the dead, then uh, our faith is uh, nothing. We would not be coming here to attend Mass. Uh, we would not be uh, uh, also uh, uh, saving, uh, trying to save ourselves. And so, St. Paul said, If Christ is not risen in vain or useless, is, your, is our preaching and your believing is nothing, is useless. So, that's why the resurrection is uh, the most important or the greatest episode in our life as uh, Christians and Catholics. Kaya mga kapatid, uh, ito ang uh, bedrock of our faith. So, if Christ had not risen, St. Paul said, our life is uh, useless. Let's eat and be merry, for tomorrow we die. And that's the end. But with the rising of our Lord, well, there is life, and that there is life hereafter, and that one day when we die, we will also follow in the footsteps of our Lord. Well, so while we are still in this world, then whatever uh, vocation and commitment we have in life, then we should... Uh, also remember this you know there are some who ask me father bakit ba kayo nag uh, pare um, ang hirap yata ang buhay ng pare walang asawa walang pamilya ano at uh, magisa kayo sometimes when you are in a parish or in the missions it's very lonely well of course, uh, to be a priest is a calling, and uh, there are indeed uh, sacrifices, there are indeed uh, difficulties that uh, happens in the life of a priest or a celibate, uh, a celibate uh, uh, nun. But uh, dear brothers and sisters, that is a vocation that uh, we have. At uh, ito po ay uh, isang uh, commitment to our Lord in His work of the Church. And this is our, our own calling. But uh, we should also remember that uh, even you, my dear brothers and sisters, kayo pong mga married uh, couples, that uh, life is not uh, just uh, joy and uh, uh, happiness and comfort, but uh, there are many sacrifices also, uh, just like, you know, our life of priests and uh, nuns. So, uh, for example, that we do not, uh, uh, you, you as married couples, do not think that uh, your married life is uh, all uh, um, bed of roses. There are also many thorns. Maraming mga uh, 
problema, maraming mga difficulties uh, in uh, married life. Alam ninyo, nung uh, ako po ay uh, nag-officiate uh, ng uh, kasal ng uh, a friend couple and uh, I did not see them for about three years. Then later on, I uh, met them and I said, uh, kumusta na kayo? Hey, um, <clears throat> well, okay naman, Father. Pero alam niyo, Father, na tutunan ko na sa buhay palang mag-asawa ay may tatlong sing-sing or three rings. Uh, ano ba itong mga rings? Bakit tatlo? Well, Father, una, yung engagement ring. Ang ikalawa ay wedding ring. O anong ikatlo, sabi ko? Father, suffering, sabi niya. So, uh, <clears throat> sabi naman ng missis, tinitignan yung kanyang uh, asawa, sabi niya mayroon pang isang ring. Ano naman yun? Ay kung iyong kabiak ay may tiri ring, sabi niya. So, that is the fourth ring. Well, of course, uh, uh, indeed, uh, there are many rings and uh, sufferings in life uh, here in this world. And just like our Lord Jesus Christ, well, He went through uh, sufferings in order to save us. And uh, that is why uh, this is important to remember that part and parcel of our life in this world uh, is filled with sacrifices, with uh, uh, difficulties and uh, hardships in uh, relationships, in uh, our uh, life here in this world. So um, let us uh, remember the words of Saint Paul when he said, if you suffer and die with Christ, then you will also rise in the glorious resurrection of our Lord. So sana po mga kapatid, isipin natin ito sa kabila ng ating mga paghihirap. Lahat tayo ay mga cross, lahat tayo ay mga rings, mga sufferings. You know? But if we follow in the sufferings of our Lord, then we will also enter 